What's going on internet? Um, today I'm going to be prepping uh, this gas tank behind me to wrap and uh, I'm going to show you how to take these super frustrating stickers off. So I'm not really entirely sure why these stickers are so much harder than all the other stickers. Maybe it's the alloy surface versus the fiberglass plastic kind of surface that all the other stickers are on. I don't know. I think these have like a layer of clear coat over the top of them. They're just way, way more difficult. Like this sticker right here, this ZX10 sticker, I could put some heat on it and it'll peel off in one piece real fast, real easy. And this sticker right here, this ninja sticker, the cursive writing, kind of cursive writing, I don't know. I don't like it, but it doesn't matter. It needs to come off of I'm going to wrap the tank because otherwise it'll actually show through the wrap. These suckers, super difficult to come off. I had a hell of a time with the other side of the tank and I'm going to, I'm going to show you a few tricks I learned. I'm going to need your handy dandy heat gun. We've got some goof off, a razor blade, and I might use this WD-40. We'll see. What I'm going to do is heat the area up a little bit. And don't be too concerned with the fact that you're heating up this aluminum container that's full of flammable liquids. Don't worry about that. So real quick disclaimer, any tips that you use from me and this YouTube channel, you use at your own risk, okay? <laughs> your own risk. So if you're dealing with a sticker that has a clear coat over the top of it, you're going to have to give it more heat. Um, the warning stickers, I don't have an example on this one because I've already taken them off. But the warning stickers are not put on with the clear coat. They're a lot easier to take off. You can just hit it with some heat and the whole sticker will uh, peel off together in one piece. These are not, these are not going to be that easy. So if anybody's wondering, um, I've got the heat gun set at about 50%, I think actually 60%. So a little bit over medium heat range and i am got it on fan level one. This one's got two different fan speeds. Uh, I lied, it's on high. So we're gonna get it pretty warm. Again, you got that clear coat over the top of it. It, uh, it, it needs more heat, okay? It just needs a lot more heat. We're gonna take our handy dandy razor blade and we're just going to peel the edge up. Just enough to get some liquid underneath it. We're not trying to take the sticker off yet. And you know this cursive writing, God, it sucks. <clears throat> We're gonna spray some WD-40 just on these high spots. That was a little bit too much. And then now that we've got this flammable petroleum liquid oozing all over our tank, we're gonna throw some more heat on it. So that sounds like a good idea. That's right. Put some flammable liquid on the outside, a little flammable liquid on the inside, and we're gonna put some heat on it. So we got a nice big flap right here. We're going to uh, hit it with a little bit more WD-40. We're gonna put a little bit more heat on it. I think the key here is to be patient and not get too greedy with how much you're trying to take off at once. All right, man, let's see if we can get a little bit more of the high area. Off. I think that's pretty good. Coming off a lot better than it did on the other side. Again, man, a big key to this is not to be too greedy and try and get too much off at once. Um, because what's going to happen is it's just going to tear and you have to kind of start over. So, a um, little bit more WD-40, a little bit more heat. All right, you can see, man, it's coming off, not all in one piece, but in pretty decently sized chunks, which I think is like the best you could hope for in this kind of situation. It's coming off a lot cleaner on this side than it did on the other side, but that's part of the process, the learning process. So there you go, it's coming along, probably close to halfway. All right, I'm gonna start working this other high area here, the uh, dot above the J, 
and start working that down until we get to something more level that we can maybe go this way with. Um, so we got a nice little flap here. We're going to stick some more liquid. We need 40. Just a little tiny bit. Oh, that was too much. And then we're going to heat her up some more. Keep being patient. So I got enough of a flap here. We're gonna we're gonna put some more WD-40 underneath it and uh, heat it up a little bit more and try again. You always want to keep the heat gun moving. You don't want to leave it in one spot. Don't put your hand underneath it. Just kind of keep going over the whole area. Get it nice and hot. Again, these clear coat stickers they need a way more heat than your regular warning stickers or any of the stickers on your fairings. So this piece is not coming off together. It's kind of separating. So a little bit more liquid, a little bit more heat, not much more heat, but a little bit. Again, I cannot reiterate it enough. The key is patience. And that was the opposite of patience. One thing that makes this a little bit more difficult is the fact that the sticker actually goes over a curve, a contour on the tank. So you almost have to kind of work it in two sections. Trying to work it over the contour is really difficult. Um, so just keep that in mind. It'd be a lot easier if this was just on a flat surface. But we've got an, we've got an edge right here. And so you kind of go this way, and then it drops off a little bit. And the sticker's like right over the middle of it. Great placement, Kawasaki. Good job. All right, we got the, the front off. We're gonna have some cleanup to do here on the edges. We'll use a little bit of goof off or goo gone. Um, but it came off in much bigger chunks using more heat and a combination of the heat and the WD-40. You're being patient with how much you're trying to take off. You shouldn't have to put a lot of pressure on the razor blade. Um, I think the key is if you're coming down with a razor blade, you shouldn't have to put a lot of pressure, but you should have a little bit of constant pressure. And again, don't be too greedy. As soon as you start to feel the sticker, uh -oh. I don't know if you guys could hear the ambulance. Hope somebody's okay. Um, as soon as you start to feel the, pr the pressure uh, requirements start to increase or the sticker kind of pushing back on you, that's the time to stop. That's the time to stop. Use a little bit more WD-40 and a little bit more heat and then go again until the same thing happens, right? It's not gonna come off easy in one big piece, but you should be able to get pretty decent sized chunks off with very little residual goo left on the tank. There's a little bit right here, but like this spot right here is, is clean as much as this, this part up here that never has had a sticker on it. So it's just a matter of being patient and um, taking off little chunks at a time. Well guys, it's done. Um, the stickers are off the tank and the area is nice and smooth and prepped and uh, we cleaned off the whole tank with some simple green. So just about ready to wrap this thing in some vinyl lime green wrap. So very excited about that. But having gone through this experience, if you're not prepping the tank for paint or um, you're getting ready to vinyl wrap, I would leave clear coat stickers alone. They are super difficult to get off. Lots of patience, lots of heat, lots of WD-40. Um, and even if you manage to get that thing off super clean, you're still gonna have this like little recessed area where the sticker used to be because of that layer of clear coat that was sitting on top of it. Um, I went and I watched, there's not a lot of videos for removing um, stickers that are covered with clear coat. And I, like I found one and the dude just like, he picked off an end and then just peeled it off like it was nothing. It, totally fake. There was no way there was a layer of clear coat on top of that sticker. I found another video, but the guy's not removing a sticker that has, I mean, he, he acknowledges that uh, it's not a clear coat covered sticker. It's like a warning label and he just peels, you know, just a little bit of heat. And those usually peel off in one piece, nice and easy. But these, these uh, stickers on the tank that are covered with clear coat, whew, man, brutal, brutal. I would suggest, I would not recommend taking that off if your intention is to just remove the sticker and keep the um, existing finished material on the surface. Like if you're not gonna paint it, if you're not gonna wrap it, just leave it on, man. Just leave it, it ain't worth it. So um, with that, I'm gonna leave you. That's the end of this video. If somebody has an example of a legit 
clear coat sticker removing process that is super consistent and clean. I would love a link in the description. I'm sorry, not in the description. Leave a comment below. I'd, I'd love to see that video. Um, I was not able to find any. And that's it, man. I'm done. So subscribe, like, share. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the uh, gas tank wrap, uh, which I'm about to start, will go smoothly. And I'll have that video out this week as well. Till then, keep the rubber side down. And